Taking a break from Zelda for the time being. Um, basically, what happened is I got halfway through seasons and realized that none of the videos I'd recorded for seasons had the commentary on it. So I'm going to be starting that over. <laughs> In the meantime, this is kind of a bit of a filler project to upload into. Huh? Who was it? So anyway... Like I said before, I got halfway through Seasons, had just completed Dancing Dragon Dungeon, and uh, I actually went to put together a really stupid derp and realized that I wasn't getting any voice, and I went and checked the other videos and there wasn't any voice on those either. So yeah, not happy about that, especially since uh, Poison Moths are giving me a lot of trouble. So in the meantime, I'll be doing this as a bit of a filler project until I've got seasons up and going. Um, I am still doing challenge rules for this project as well. Um, in this case, I am not allowed to wear the jet hat. At all. Period. I'm also going to be taking a direct route to Syrup Castle. I'm not going to be going to Serbert Island and not going to be doing any bonus stages until after I've beaten uh, Syrup Castle. I'm also going to be getting none of the treasures until Syrup Castle is done simply so I can show off the simply so I can show off whatever ending it is I get. Um going to be researching what ending comes at what coin values. Oh, I hate this thing. But yeah, the essence of the challenge is no jet hat. Um, everything else is just me being silly.
Is it from yesterday? I have no idea. Bring me the phone. Because I talked with him yesterday and he wanted help with understanding what the junk mail filter on his email does. That was, it probably was from yesterday because I checked it like the Yeah, that would have been from yesterday then. I really need to give him my cell phone. Forget about that. Ow. I need one. I am not used to playing this with the gamepad. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to try that. The timer does not stop while the coin gates are opening, so it might entirely be possible to die as your coin gates opening because of timeout. So that'll be something I'll try later on. <laughs> Now for the first stage where I'm going to wish I had the jet hat. This stage and the first stage of Stone Canyon were stages that gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. This one still gives me trouble from time to time, but Stove Canyon I've learned is a lot easier than I thought it was. see where this is going, can't you? I made this exact same mistake. What the hell? I will give this game something. The levels are short. <clears throat> Especially the later levels when you're not trying to bother with treasures.
camera shenanigans. Dog's been biting himself, so we had to put a phone on him. Much easier than trying to do it the other way. Should have done that the first time. Dog's got a cone on his head because he keeps biting himself. Brief overview of Kitchen Island, in case no one's ever actually seen it before. Which, as I said during my Oracle of Ages playthrough, if you're watching this, you've probably played this game before anyway. <laughs> Touching a womp on the spiky sights is some death. Shouldn't there have been another coin there? Tugabro, who if I ever actually start putting together Super Kick-Ass Daisy, will feature as a playable. And that was Rice Beach. We're gonna cut here, and we'll see you back in a moment. <laughs> 